Hi, Dad. It's me, your firstborn. The one who broke all the rules, did everything the hard way, and probably gave you the most grief. Yeah, that one. You gave us all quite a scare February before last, you know, but you came through it with flying colors. Just like I knew you would. After all, you were the one who first told me I could do anything I set my mind to, and then became a living example of your own dictum for as long as I've known you. You told me your doctor said there was no reason you couldn't live to be a hundred. But, I hate to tell you, Dad, it looks like that's one achievement you're not going to unlock for one of the few times in your life. But it certainly wasn't for lack of trying. Ten months is a little short of your original goal, but... You lived it well, and I'm grateful for every day we got to hold on to you just a little longer. It was time well spent and much appreciated. But now it's done, and we have to say goodbye. This is also a day I thought would never come. Oh yeah, we all know we're all going to go sometime, but who really believes it? And yet, here it is, and here we are. Trying to figure out a way to encapsulate a life in a few short words that don't even come close to embracing and expressing the reality of a life, especially yours. When I thought about how I was going to approach this thing, well, you know what? You were more than the list of your life's accomplishments, more than a curriculum vitae, a resume. You were a man and you were my father. So I'm deciding to get a little bit more personal and try and express a little bit of how much your life meant to me, how much you meant to me. You were my dad, and he loomed large in my infant consciousness, making an impression so indelible it left room for little else. I worshipped you and wanted to spend every waking minute with you. We mutually agreed we weren't going to let a pesky thing, like me not technically being one, stop you from giving me the best childhood a boy could have had in the 60s. My life as my dad's primary sidekick was right out of boy's life. Some of my best memories are of the many happy hours we spent fishing on Lake Nipissing, shooting tin cans with your 22 rifle out in an ad hoc firing range in the woods, camping bombing around on your latest toy, the motorcycle of the moment, the train sets, flying the box kite, the slot cars, horseback riding, father and daughter archery lessons, my favorite. Oh yeah, and the coolest thing of all, up in the air in your flying machine, the Cessnas you rented for the day to circle the field while I sat in the cockpit beside you and wondered at the marvel of having a dad who could fly a plane. Those were golden, halcyon days, when I stood in the shadow of a god and basked in his reflected glory. And like every unsuspecting child before me, I couldn't stay in that moment, but sped heedless through the precious, finite days of my innocence, wanting so desperately to be grown up. I wish I had tarried a little longer in that sweet state of youth. I wish... well, you know... You were there as I grew out of those childish things. You gave me impetus and encouragement in other areas as well, supporting my intellectual endeavors and stoking in me a lifelong love affair with books. I remember awaiting your return from business trips eagerly because I knew you would have a book for me. Such wonderful books. One of the happiest days of my life was when I got my adult library card. You encouraged my writing, my love of drama, music, and singing. There was always music in our house. You and Mum were always singing. And you had a great voice. Thanks to you, I know the words of most of the show tunes and top 40 songs of the 50s and 60s. I'll miss that voice so much. Ah, oh, yes, and the stories. Those stories about your past adventures and exploits you told over and over again. I must have heard them hundreds of times, but I never tired of them, honestly. In the last days, when I talked to you every time you told me one, I soaked it in, treasuring every word, because I knew someday, someday, there would be no more stories. You were my mentor, my protector, my guardian, my guide, and yes, at times, my nemesis. As many times as I taxed you, you were always there for me. You never turned me away, you never judged me, and you never said, I told you so though I gave you plenty of cause 
There were so many things I never said. Now I never can. Top of the list being, thank you. Thank you for teaching me how to be a good person, to think for myself, to believe in myself, to never give up, to never stop trying. Thank you for being my dad. No, <laughs> you weren't perfect, and you weren't a god either. I know that now. But I liked the man a lot better when I came to know him for the flawed human being he really was, just trying to figure it all out as he went along, like all the rest of us. We weren't the Cunninghams. We weren't the Bradys, the Cleavers, or the Waltons. We may have been more like the Adams family, but the point being, we were family. Still are. And now one of us is gone. So here's to you, Daddy. I raise a glass to you. Water, of course, never wine. Here's to your life and the way you lived it, always on your terms. We may never see you again in the here and now, but you will always be with us. Godspeed. Safe journey. Fly on first. Slip the surly bonds of earth and touch the face of God. I love you. Till we meet again. <laughs>